Hello everyone, this week's manner of death is undetermined, as these are all missing persons cases. Ida Rose Jacomet. Ida Rose Jacomet is a 37-year-old missing woman from Alaska. She was last seen on October 2, 1975 at the Circle M Bar located on Old Richardson Highway in Fairbanks, Alaska. The only available clue was her purse, which was found in the bar's parking lot. No one has seen her since. Ida was 37 at the time of her disappearance and would currently be 82 years old if alive today. She is Native American and has black hair with brown eyes. Her height was 5 foot and she weighed between 110 to 130 pounds. Her ears were also pierced. If you have any information about Ida Jacomet's whereabouts or that could solve her case, please contact the Alaska State Troopers at 907-451-5100. Antoinette Bernhardt Antoinette Bernhardt Very little information is provided about Antoinette Bernhardt's case. She was an 18-year-old flying on a plane that was due to arrive at Lisbon AFS on November 22, 1977. The plane went missing somewhere between Point Hope and Lisbon AFS. A hole in the ice was found three miles offshore of Kivalina that is described to have been large enough for an airplane to have made. The plane was never recovered either. Antoinette would be 63 years old today if she was still alive. She is described as a Native American or Alaska Native with brown hair and brown eyes. She stood 5 feet 3 inches and weighed 135 pounds. She was last seen wearing light colored jeans and a down jacket with lightweight shoes. If you have any information that could solve her disappearance, please contact the Alaska State Troopers at 907 Two six nine five five one one. Mary Ann Alexi. Mary Ann Alexi was a 32-year-old woman. She was from Fairbanks, Alaska, and had traveled to Anchorage to enroll in Alaska Career College to study to be a medical assistant. She was in Anchorage on October 9, 2012, but wasn't present for classes. On October 10, 2012, at 3 a.m., Mary called her friends, saying she was in the Spinard region of Anchorage. She mentioned that she was lost and was unsure of where to go. Mary may have been intoxicated. Since this phone call, she has never been heard from again. She left behind four children. If alive today, Mary Alexi would be 43 years old. She was a Native American woman with black hair and brown eyes. She stood 4 foot 11 inches and weighed 120 pounds. She also had a tattoo on her upper right arm. If you have any information that could help solve her disappearance, please contact the Anchorage Police Department at 907-786-8900 or the Alaska State Troopers at 907-269-5511. There's also a Facebook page dedicated to finding her, so please check that out. I've linked it in the description. Mary Sylvester. Mary Sylvester was a 37-year-old woman who went missing from Palmer, Alaska. She was last seen on September 11, 1977, when she was on a hunting trip with some friends. She fell off her horse when crossing Granite Creek and was swept away in the current. Her friends were unable to help her, and she has never been found. It is likely she drowned, but her body was also never recovered. Mary used to live in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and prior to this worked as a school bus driver. She is described as a Native American or indigenous woman with black hair and brown eyes. She was 37 years old at the time and would be 83 years old today if alive. She stood 5 feet 5 inches and weighed between 160 to 180 pounds. She was last seen wearing a wool jacket, red and black flannel shirt, an orange shirt underneath, brown or red jeans, leather chaps, and brown boots. She also wore a golden wedding ring on her left ring finger. 
Mary also sometimes used the first name Jeanne or Jean and the last name Ward. If you have any information about Mary Sylvester's disappearance, please contact the Alaska State Troopers at 907-269-5511. Stella Anastasia Yvonne Stella Anastasia Yvonne was a 17-year-old young woman who was last viewed in her hometown of Bethel, Alaska, on September 29, 1996. The night before, she was hanging out with friends, and when she returned to her home in the early morning, she could not get inside. Her grandmother was asleep, and when she failed to wake her, Stella walked to a local police station where an officer dropped her off at her sister's apartment around 4.30 a.m. Only half an hour to an hour later, between 5 to 6 a.m., she left her sister's apartment. After this, she has never been seen or heard from again. Stella's disappearance is thought to be suspicious in nature since she left her sister's apartment to return to her home with her grandmother and was not planning on going anywhere else. Stella was described by family as a fun, outgoing person. She went missing at 17 and would be 44 years old today if alive. She is a Native American or indigenous woman with black hair and brown eyes. She stood at 4 feet 11 inches and weighed 100 pounds. Stella was last wearing a blue hooded sweatshirt with the Georgetown University logo, a brown leather jacket, blue jeans, and black shoes. Her ears are double pierced and at the time her hair was waist length. If you have any information about Stella's disappearance, please contact the Bethel Police Department at 907-543-3781. Karen Dean Evan Karen Evan was an 18-year-old young woman living in Anchorage, Alaska at the time she went missing. Her family last spoke to her in May of 1980. Karen was diligent in keeping in touch with them several times a week and was also really looking forward to a visit from her sister, who had been residing in Canada at the time. It's odd that she would cut all communication from them and just voluntarily disappear. The details of her disappearance are unknown, so there is little to go off of, such as where she was last seen or what she was doing before she went missing. At the time, she was 18 years old, and if alive, she would be 62 today. Karen is described as an Alaska Native or American Indian who has brown hair and brown eyes. She stood at 5 feet 2 inches and weighed 125 pounds. If you have any information about Karen Evans' disappearance, please contact the Anchorage Police Department at 907-786-8900 or the Alaska State Troopers at 907-269-5511. Hello everyone, Manner of Death here. I just want to thank you all for listening until the end of the video and for supporting my channel. I also wanted to thank one of my subscribers for suggesting I cover more murdered and missing uh, indigenous women. I unfortunately realize that there is a lot of those types of cases out of the state of Alaska. There's also a lot of missing um, indigenous men as well, and all their cases really do deserve to have more coverage and to have more eyes on them. Um, Alaska seems to be a really uh, bad sort of state when it comes to missing people in general, so I really wish that could be given more awareness and you know, I wish they could solve more of their cases. Uh, please let me know if you have any other recommendations, whether that's for a state or a specific case you have in general. I do look forward to reading all of your comments and seeing all of your insights. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.